Hey guys, it's Louise there and welcome back to my channel. So today we have episode 4 of Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, and I'm very excited. Um, it feels like it's been like months since the last episode. I don't know why. It feels like the last week has just gone so like slow. It feels like it's been forever since we've had an episode. Um, I'm excited to see what happens this this time. Uh, are we going to get an Adar face reveal? Uh, I don't know. I feel like we might have been baited by like the cliffhanger. Uh, I feel like we're going to have to wait an extra week. But I want to see him because he looks like a very attractive elf and we all know that I love the elves. Um, so yeah, I don't I don't know what we're going to do. I would like to see more Elrond because I miss my boy and I miss the stranger. I mean, we saw him last week, but I would like more um, because he's the love of my life. Um, so yeah, let's get into it and see what happens. <gasps> the tree. No! What the fuck? No! Holy shit! It was a perfect oh, for fuck's sake, it was a dream! Oh my god! My fucking heart! Whoa! Jeez! I'm an elf lover! Oh, well, that's not fair. The wedding never earned in the first place. So I wow. I don't need to be a dick about it. It wasn't his fault that you got kicked off. Whoa, too fucking far, dickhead. Fucking punch him. Get rid of him. Throw him in the fucking lava. Who needs to throw the ring in? Throw him in. Adar? Adar? Oh, I didn't like that drop of music. Oh my god, they're fucking terrifying looking. I hate them. They've done so well, but I fucking hate them. Yes! Oh, are we gonna get to see him? Are we gonna get to see him? Yes, I will kneel before you, my king. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, he is pretty. Okay! Sir? I don't like the subtitles for that. Stabs deeper. If you hurt Iron Deer, I swear to God. I went down that river once. Jesus fucking ball sacks. What message? What fucking message? Tell me. Tell me now. Is it like a message like Sauron is here? Potato. Boil him, mash him, stick him in a stew. I feel like he's gonna go in there and he's not gonna come back out. At least not as the same person. Oh, oh. I don't wanna see that. Oh, Jesus, fuck. Blech, he's disgusting. Meat's back on the menu, boys. Oh, my God. Holy Jesus, fuck. Man's is stunned. I mean, gonna be honest, my dude. Hiding down there with no way out is not a good idea. That fucking sword, though. Holy fuck. Yay! Elves and dwarves together. Elrond, I've missed you. <laughs> Baby boy. Oh, what has Durin done now? <laughs> he is hiding something. God, he looks so beautiful sitting there. I love how they just expect an elf with, like, elf eyes and elf, like, hearing to not hear them. And of course he's going searching for it. Elrond, my dear, you're gonna get in trouble. Damn, well done, Elrond. A sneaky, smart boy. I'm so proud of him. 
I don't know. He just he just feels like a little baby that I need to protect with my life. I don't know what it is. I just I just want to squeeze his cheeks and just hold him and protect him and make sure nothing happens to him. And I just want him to know that I'm very proud of him for everything he does. Shiny. Damn, that's a lot. That's a lot to put on him. <laughs> Dwarven anger. I mean, I feel like he broke that promise because Elrond does get pretty unlucky with everything. Everything he loves, he loses at some point. But to be fair, for this friendship, I don't think he'd break it. Oh, I love them both so much. Keep it? He's just giving him it? Got it. I feel like if his father found out about this, he'd fucking rip him to shreds. But I feel like in this, we have so many different characters and so many stories that I'm like getting confused as to who's who and where's where and what's going on and whose story we're going to next. Like there's so many different stories and I'm not complaining. I think it's great. But I'm just like, I'm excited to get the one story, but I'm also excited to get to the other stories. Oh! God damn! She just put them all in the cell! Those guards aren't very good, are they? Seven seemed as strong as they once were. The other six either lost or hidden. I just got so many fucking goosebumps. Holy shit. Well, we need Aaron Deer to come in and save the day. I don't know where he's taking his message to, but maybe he'll pass through this area. Don't smile too soon, boy. Ah, oh, Jesus, fuck. I told you. Aaron Deer! Where are you? Arrow to the head. Or a sword. Yes! I knew you'd be here to save the day. Let's go. Oh, this music scares me. This music actually scares me. It makes me feel like he's gonna die. Oh, the music, the music. I can't, I can't, I can't deal with orcs and forests and slow music. Holy shit! That was bloody brilliant. My God, elves are just the fucking coolest. They're so fucking cool. Oh, that's a lot of them. Oh my lord, that is a lot more than I realized. Arendir, Arendir, please be safe. You have a message and we don't know what the message is. You have a message to deliver. I want to know what the message is. Oh, Jesus. Oh, this is giving me a heart failure. Oh. Oh no, please. Please. Please, no, please, no. No, 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 no. Please, no, please, no. Please don't, please. Someone's gonna get hurt and I'm, I'm not ready. Oh my god, they survived. Holy shit. Yeah, fuck you, orcs. Yeah, your helmet ain't gonna protect you here, my dudes. Oh, that is a beautiful shot. Wow. Oh, did the dwarves not make it? Oh no, that's so sad. Alive. <gasps> All of them alive. They're alive, thank God. Oh, Jesus. Shut it down. If he were watching this, would he be proud of what I've accomplished with his legacy? Of course he'd be proud of you. Disappointed. Do not waste what time you have left with the orcs. Oh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> it's a fearful something. I feel that similarly to things. Am I just gonna cry every Durin and Elrond scene that's possible? Like, I'm just gonna cry every single time they're on screen. I know who won. Don't be suspicious of Elrond. He's just a baby boy. Oh, he has the scar as well, doesn't he?
Sauron. What is what is the stranger got to do with Sauron? Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Oh my god, the music is driving me nuts! Oh my god, it's so good! Oh, I like that outfit. Oh, that looks good. Is a sealer coming with you? Is this how a sealer gets there? No. Well, shit. Okay, okay. Unexpected. So this is how Isildur gets there. Come on, do it. Yes! Even though I don't like you, but yes! Why is this making me emotional? <sighs> wow. Oh. 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 At least it didn't leave us on like a severe cliffhanger this time. Oh my god. Oh, wow. That was good. That was good. Oh, wow. That was a good episode. I really enjoyed that. A lot was going on and we got to see more Elrond and Durin. Um, and yeah, it was it was a good episode. I'm I'm like I don't know. I I I'm just, I'm just kind of like trying to process everything that happened. I'm obviously really happy that she changed her mind in the end and is going to escort Galadriel back herself, and this is how a seal dirt gets there, and uh, yeah, I want to see him and Elrond become besties. Um, no, I don't know. I, I, I did really enjoy this. It was a lot of fun, and again, the music and the scenery was absolutely beautiful. Uh, I don't really have anything else to like specifically say at the end because I basically said how I felt during it. Um, but yeah, it was good. It was fun. Let me know what you guys think. I'm definitely very intrigued to Adar now and the whole Sauron thing. Um, they're really, really being like, oh, could this person be Sauron? Could this person be Sauron? Sauron's coming, all this kind of stuff. I feel like we're not going to see him like properly this season. I feel like that'll be next season. Like we're just kind of setting up for it. But I don't know. But Adar is cool. I like him. Um, I would definitely like to see more of him. Um... Just because, like I said, I think I said this last week, but, like, you don't really get to see evil elves as such. Like, all the elves are, like, prim and proper and, you know, goody two-shoes and, you know, they're elves. They're beautiful. They're wonderful. They're, like, heavenly creatures. Like, they're they're just, um, they're ethereal. Um, and I, I just feel like you don't really see the bad ones. Like, I feel like Thranduil was, like, the closest we got. Like, he's not a bad guy, but he's a bit of a, he's a bit of an asshole sometimes. But... I mean, he is the daddy elf, so... <laughs> but he's got a bit of competition here with uh, Adar. Uh, I, I definitely would very much like to see more of him. Um, I think he's cool. And we will see more of him. That's definitely not him over. Uh, but it's interesting that the dude mentioned about Sauron and about the hilt. Um, relating it to the falling star, a.k.a. the stranger. So I don't really know what his plan is with that like why would Sauron like I get he wants to you know make a make a, a bit of a you know a statement like hey I'm on my way but like why would he shoot down B-Tech Gandalf well he's not B-Tech Gandalf but um I don't know I just I, I don't I don't know I don't know if there's like lore behind that or if this is all new um but either way I'm very excited for next episode uh, I hope the next week goes quickly like the last week did not um but yeah thank you guys for watching let me know your your theories. Um, all comments, of course, will be held for review. So your comments, your mean, threatening, and racist comments, and like your comments that are telling me to go, you know, the really really mean comments towards me just for enjoying this, they will be deleted. They will not be seen. So there's no point. Don't even bother. Um, but yeah, thank you guys, and I will see you guys in the next video, so peace.